Good evening and welcome, my dear viewers. Money meant for cyclone relief was given to Sonia Gandhi. Money meant for victims of earthquakes and money meant for victims of floods was also given to Sonia Gandhi. Money meant for victims of major accidents, money meant for victims of major national disasters was also given to Sonia Gandhi. And Sonia Gandhi over years kept accepting the money. And the money kept flowing to her private trust, the Rajiv Gandhi Foundation. Money was in fact given to her private trust by none other than the Prime Minister of India. Consider the extent of this scam. Yesterday the country came to know that Sonia Gandhi took money from the Chinese government and the embassy of China in India. Now we have information today that Sonia Gandhi also took money from the Prime Minister's National Relief Fund. And the important part to remember here is that the money for the Prime Minister's National Relief Fund or the Pradhan Mantri Rashtriya Rahat Yojana comes directly from you. It comes directly into the fund from ordinary Indians. The money that Sonia Gandhi looted comes from a fund which is a citizen's contribution. Even the poorest of the poor contribute to that viewer. Sometimes as little as 10 rupees. People who don't have a lot of money put in 10 rupees because they want to help a national cause. You have to be totally shameless. You have to have utter contempt for ethics and morality. To loot that money, that money which is built on public contributions, to loot that money meant for victims of disasters. Sonia Gandhi, you looted that money to fund your plush private office, your family trust in the heart of the national capital. And now thousands of people across the country have started investigating how much money came into Sonia Gandhi's private trust and where it came from and so are we and so let us examine the scam here a little bit. Sonia Gandhi's private trust whose control is in her hands and in the hands of the Vadra family and Rahul Gandhi we find was taking money left, right and centre from everywhere from central government ministries. The government her party was controlling was diverting money from ministries to her private trust. This is a cash for favor scam. Those who were funding Sonia Gandhi's trust were obviously doing so to buy goodwill, political goodwill. So, for example, I find that a big real estate company in Gurgaon, whose abbreviation has three words of the English language, three alphabets, was giving her money. And a financial services and real estate company which is no longer as bullish and which is now being investigated by the enforcement directorate was also giving her money. But not just that, you will be shocked viewers, Sonia Gandhi's trust was taking money from a huge number of ministries. The Ministry of Small Scale Industries was giving Sonia's trust money. The Human Resource Development Ministry whose job it is to increase literacy, Education across India was giving money to Sonia Gandhi's trust. The Health and Family Welfare Ministry. The Oil and Natural Gas Corporation was giving money to Sonia's trust. Would you believe it? The Gas Authority of India Limited also was giving money to Sonia's trust. The Bank of Maharashtra was giving money to Sonia's trust. The State Bank of India viewers gave money to Sonia's trust not once, not twice, three, four, five, six, but seven times. Seven times Sonia's trust took money from the State Bank of India. The Steel Authority of India not to be left behind was also funding Sonia's trust. All the money was going into Sonia Gandhi's trust.